Why do people always ask this? It would be customer sends an uncooked video of a faulty TV. Then she drops the question that Adam should have asked. What would it cost to fix this? I politely tell her that because I'm not Jesus, it's hard to tell exactly what the root cause is and if we'd need to replace any organs or merely from viewing the video. She insists on us giving her an estimate. So using my miracle walking glasses, I look intently at the video to try to figure out what really might be wrong with the TV. Now here's one thing. Because certain models of TVs often come down with the same problem, you have a good chance of telling correctly what might be wrong if a TV falls in that category. But I've learned to never fall for such schemes, so I ask her, what doctor would tell the cost of treatment of a disease he has no clue about? Wouldn't he need to open up the patient first, take out each organ and in them to be sure all that's needed to get the patient back to full health? Even after all that pep talk, Madam says, tell me! So I play safe with her so as not to lose a potential full tank of petrol money. I go, Madam, I can only give you a range, 80 to 100 dollars. This after concluding the problem must be an easy y-axis signal loss in the panel owing to the slowly developing vertical bars. At this point, I'm feeling quite satisfied with myself for being smart, <laughs> but I was in for an unpleasant surprise. As I open up the panel to reveal its condition, guess what I find? It's as if the TV was installed under a waterfall. This amount of corrosion on the panel would ruin the Eiffel Tower. The problem is far worse than I ever expected and can be fixed. What do you think I should do? Let's drop your suggestions in the comments.